Look at that sky. We're in central Otago at the moment and uh, here at 8.12 in the morning. It's in the middle of July, so technically New Zealand in the south should be absolutely covered in snow. But there's a heat wave that's come through New Zealand for the last sort of three weeks and uh, it's balmy. I'd say this kind of feels like autumn weather. Um, my guess is probably about 8, 10 degrees, where it should be negative 8, negative 10 degrees. Climate change, can't deny it. Or a heat wave, just a freak heat wave. But this is the beautiful St. Bathans Blue Lake. And I'm going to be spending today just circling around this area to see if there are any great uh, vantage points to take a shot. And right now I've got to say, as I said before, the sky is just absolutely stunning. So it's my job to scout around and see if we can find some great compositions for the week. Check this out. This is St. Bathans Blue Lake. <laughs> When I was organising this trip, I actually uh, was expecting this lake to be frozen because of the, uh, the winter frosts that uh, usually happen here in the middle of winter in New Zealand. Um, I don't even know whether this actually does freeze over, but uh, I was expecting it to freeze over, um, and it's not. So it's completely different to uh, where I was last week in Lake Clearwater, where the lake was completely frozen and making some very, very strange noises. Okay, I've been scouting around for the last few hours and uh, not really come up with a heck of a lot of stuff, unfortunately, but um, I've gone for a very, very simple composition on the other side of the lake and uh, it's looking into the sunset. Um, so hopefully, sunset is at five o'clock, it's now quarter past three. Um, hopefully, just before then, the sun is going to peek through that little bit of cloud there and light up the blue lake beautifully. Um, so what I'm going to try and do to create a good composition in this in this instance there's a little bit of wind that's picked up so i'm going to go for a, a slightly long exposure of about six seconds so i've put on a little stopper um to to help with that and then i've also got a graduated six uh nd filter just to cut out the glare in the sky and to equalize the ground and the sky and balance it out properly um, so all i have to do now is just wait for that sun to hopefully pop through the horizon there and go down into this lake and if I'm lucky you'll be seeing the shot before me it is now morning and uh, I came across this little white outcrop here um, right there. And what's interesting about this is that this is quite white. And when you look at it in camera, this area here is quite dark. And uh, there's a plenty of sky up here for opportunity of uh, a bit of colour in the morning sun when it comes through. I think there's a little bit of high cloud up there. And uh, this gives me an opportunity to highlight just that little white outcrop um, and everything in the darkness or sort of a couple of exposures lower it's just going to be sort of pushed back into the background of the composition. I've come here in the morning because the sun's rising over this side so it's not going to light up the background too much so I'm going to get more of a focus on the uh, the white outcrop. Um, so I'll talk you through uh, my composition a little bit. Uh, I'm going for a portrait 
composition, I've got F11, ISO 200, and I'm going for a 20 seconds exposure because I've got the little stopper on. I might bring down my composition a little bit more to catch some colour into the water a bit more. And I think that makes for a more balanced shot. Let's see, a touch more, maybe that's a bit too far. But hey, you only learn by doing. Yes, 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 it's, it's good, I'm happy with it, yes, yes. Job done for me on this uh, wee composition. Very happy. So the last time you saw me was out in St. Bathans, and uh, I think I got a really good morning shot there. Unfortunately, the morning, uh, the afternoon, turned a little bit pants, um, and so decided to snuggle in and have a nice warm night inside the camper van. And because the weather's playing a bit of a trick on us at the moment. Um, I've decided to come out to the Otiaki Conservation Park just outside of um, St. Bathans, near Falls Dam, and uh, I've spotted a wee shearer's shed. Um, this is Graham Sydney country, and he was famous for painting uh, this area in such amazing detail that um, he became famous around this area and around the world uh, because of his amazing paintings of this region. Um, I'm not one for taking pictures of man-made objects in landscapes, but uh, with a landscape like this and a shearer's shed like that, it seemed like an opportunity too good to, to miss. So, let me go and get set up and I'll see you soon. Okay, so I'm actually, uh, the sky is starting to lift and lighten up uh, quite a lot, so I've decided to uh, pull out the old stoppers and uh, see if I can cut out the uh, the contrast with the light and the, and the, the foreground. So on goes on the polarizer, and then next comes the neutral density soft grad number six and it goes it's supposed to go in really easily but um so my exposure is uh 100 iso um f11 and around about sort of 30th of a second that's why i've got the tripod on um, i'm using my 24 to 70 because i really want to show the expanse of the area and keep it nice and simple. Shearer's shed, mountain range, muted color of the sky. Here we go. So as you can guess, the sun has popped over the mountain range and is lighting up this these cottages really, really beautifully. Beautiful side light, and it's actually also lighting up the uh, the mountains in the background. And so I'm getting a very, very simple composition of the worker's shed with some nice muted background. And so this is my homage to the wonderful and the great Graham Sydney. <laughs> Action. Okay. Well, after an afternoon of walking all the way up there for a couple of hours through some bracken, 
through some thorny bushes, bleeding, knuckles and everything, uh, it turns out that there is no good photography that way. So if you're ever here in the future, don't go up that way because it is useless for any good photography. Um, so this is the last night here in St. Bathans. Uh, I've had a really great time, it's been awesome. Um, it's a very, very, very difficult place to photograph artistically. Uh, it's a great place to see, uh, it's a great place to walk around. It's really beautiful, but because there's so much mess around, it's very difficult to isolate a subject and, and make a composition. It's so hard. Um, but in saying that, I think I did get a couple of compositions that I'm really happy with, that I might edit up and, uh, and put on my print shop. So if you're interested in any of these prints, go to my print shop, byroncolephotography.com, check them out, and uh, make sure you purchase. Uh, but for the meantime, this is my last photo of St. Bathans. Cheers.